Um, I'll drive around anyway, though. Uh, kind of make a 30-minute video. Oh, and there's the light change right when I go through it. It's, it's tough, guys. I'm having a tough time keeping it together. I'll just be honest with y'all. Um, it's a lot of pain to my head. Um, and, you know, my Q-Wave Defenders are working. I have 14 on me right now. Um, I have 14 Q-Wave Defenders. I took, you know, two off the other day, and it was excruciating. So they do make a difference. Um, I am going to, you know, I haven't been sleeping under my enclosure. Um, so I am taking a little bit more pain. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm really going to start sleeping under there and actually put some aluminum foil over. I have copper, I have copper mesh, um, you know, over two layers over the whole thing of copper mesh, which is good, but it does have holes in it. There's a one light SUV right there. Um, but it does go through the copper mesh because um, it does have tiny little holes. Um, and then I've got, you know, thermal blankets on top of that. It's still like I mean, if you stay still while you're asleep, you're you're this you're this um, you know stationary target, and they are just you know brutalizing you during your sleep, you know trying to get this. And there's a, a sheriff right there. It's because I'm video like when I videotape, I get a lot more stalking because you're not supposed to videotape other people on the road. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and videotape people though because they are patrolling me illegally. Like this is illegit. And I'm being gang stalked. So, but but what they're doing on the other side is they're going, oh, this person's videotaping people, and it's the people who are patrolling you, who you're trying to videotape and show people that this is happening to. So it's a cycle. It's a cycle. All this stuff that they're doing to us with the Directed Energy Weapon Program and DHS Fusion Centers, it is a cycle that keeps feeding itself. It is evil that keeps on feeding itself. Um, it really is. And I do have a call tonight. Um, I'm going to try and get this video up before my call. I have a call at 11 p.m. Central um, on TalkShoe. It's very bad. Um, it's it's perp very badly. It's like somebody off of the board. Like there's a chat board that you have for TalkShoe. Um, and somebody off of the board is just uh, doing sounds like dogs barking and, you know, people talking and stuff like that so badly that people who are being targeted they're being hurt um they're being you know harassed um you can't we can't hear each other on the call so a lot of us are you know talking about it and we're really going to start using that stuff as evidence because it's like people who have a soundboard and have administrative rights to come on calls off the chat board um i probably will move my call uh you know to freeconferencecall.com very soon but I am going to have it at Wednesdays at 11 p.m. Uh, from you know, uh, you know, I, I you know I'm going to have the call tonight. If it gets really bad, I think I might just go ahead and stop the call. Um, but it is it's going to be at um, you know, talks you 724-444-7444, um, and then pin number uh, pin number one four two three nine four. So if y'all want to come, it's uh, pin number 142394 at TalkShoot. Um, so if y'all want to come on there and, you know, if you're a new target individual and you want to tell your circumstance or you're a target individual who's having a lot of problems um, and you've been a target individual for years, you know, please come. If you have some good ideas for defense, you know, please get on that call um, and, you know, give us some good ideas for defending ourselves, like especially while you sleep. Um, you know, another TI told me um, Argon, the Argon Mesh from LessEMF.com, and she's a she's somebody who not a lot of stuff works for. Um, you know, the the CD has worked for her, um, and she, you know, ice packs have worked for her and stuff like that. But she said that the Argon Mesh, and that's the next thing I'm going to try uh, from LessEMF.com, really works. Um, I do want to say that the uh, don't buy the chain mail. Like they actually have a chain mail from lessemf.com. It's like a metal chain mail. I thought it'd be a lot more lightweight. It's very heavy. It's very very heavy chain mail. And um, you know, at first it worked for me, 
um, with the frequencies, the frequencies that they were using, but then they switched frequencies, um, and it cooked, it cooked my head because, um, they, they turned it to a more electro, uh, like an electronic, electro, like, electric frequency, and the electromagnetic frequency, they changed it to a more electric frequency, and so it actually coursed through that metal, um, and actually really hurt me really bad, so do not buy, if you're a target individual who, you know, they're using a lot of different frequencies on, um, I would not recommend that the chain mail that goes over your head. I'm actually going to try and send it back. A lot of stuff that they have does work, um, but do not use that because they can change the frequency to a more electric frequency, um, you know, on the more electric side, and it can it can course through that metal. And that's what happened to me. It really it burned around my ears and my head, and it was a, a very electric frequency. And there's another empty trailer up there. You can't really see it. Once again, guys, I just, uh, you know, I hope y'all are doing good. We are getting there. Not soon enough for me. Um, I am, like, I've been saying it for a long time. I've got to do another appointment with my psychiatrist um, pretty soon and then, then go to my neurologist. And I'm just going to get him to do some testing. Um, they keep on the V2K, they do keep saying that I have a brain tumor. Um, I'm not sure if that is for real. It it sounds like with the dialogue that I have going, it sounds like the good person. There's like supposed to be a good person there at all times, and then a bad person who wants to do it. And the good person is like he does have a brain tumor, and then the other person's like, no, he doesn't. It's not a brain tumor. I'm not sure if that's them just messing around, um, or if or if they really really think that I have a brain, or like they really see that. Because they do see, they can, you know, they do have a lot of stuff where they are using radar, and a lot of people, you know, as well as me, I, I do believe they can, they can see uh, an X-ray quality, um, you know, inside our bodies, um, and that is a scary, scary proposition. But I do, I do need to get that checked out. Whether or not they're lying or not, I need to just go get testing because I need to get neurological testing anyway. But on the V2K, they are actually saying that. They're like, he does have a brain tumor. No, he doesn't have a brain tumor. Um, so they're actually playing around with that sort of stuff. That's how evil this is, non-TIs. It is people on a voice to skull, um, you know, messing around with that. And they do have some kind of function. Um, they're trying to get it up right now. Um, and they've been having a hard time getting a... It's kind of an automated... Uh, response to v2k and it's uh it uses my inner voice like i'll say something and it'll be like and there's just another sheriff's car it's on the other side of this transport yeah um but they do like like i'll say something like this is really evil i'll be like this is really evil and it'll it'll respond and it's it's not a real person it'll go it is really evil um so i think it it, it might be that that automated response system um, they, they are trying to get that up. What I do when they do that, because it does respond to my inner voice, and then the, a voice is made with a lot of different frequencies. So it's some kind of automated response, um, an autom automated voice response. I guess what some people call artificial intelligence, but it's really just an automated voice response. What I'll do is I'll just think a vowel uh, in my head, and my, my throat, and um, my throat and jaws will make that sound. So I'll go e in my head, like I'll do a vowel sound, and then that automated response will actually start making that tone, like it'll start messing up. So they do, they do, they are trying to get that work, and it's hard to do it on me because I realize it. I'll start to kind of uh, know that it's happening, but if, if a lot of you are getting that, like you're getting a lot of, uh, you, you feel like every, a lot of it's automated, um, do that. that. That really works to just make vowel sounds. Start making vowel sounds um, in your head, um, and it, you, you'll be able to see what's, what's real and what's not, what's, pe what's real people and what is things responding to your actual inner voice. Um, you, you know, for, for that, for that kind of thing that responds to the inner voice, you can tell. Um, it's, it's really fuck. It, it, okay, I'm gonna try not use the F word here. It is really, really incredible what types of equipment these people are given.
and these are people down at a community level. These are just ex-army guys or, you know, ex in, in, private investigators or whoever. These are not like, you know, scientists or anything. These are just people, people who maybe had a, a military career or something like that, um, who are now mercenary. They're given very extensive um, mind control equipment um, to use. This is scary stuff, non TIs. Please look it up. They're playing around with a lot of crap that is, um, it's incredible. Scientists should have this. Nobody in a community level should have stuff that they're playing around with like this. Um, and, it, it, you know, they're using sound boards and, you know, there's, there's, there's artificial response. There's artificial response that actually uses the frequencies put into a voice and they can make it sound very, very close um, to a human voice um, when it's talking. Very, very close. Um, it's incredibly scary, the stuff that these people have. Um, but we, but we're getting there. Um, you know, it, it's a lot of money in it. So we've, you know, we're gonna have to start winning court cases. It's gonna be a long road. But even if we're not tearing down the program as soon as we'd like, there's a lot of other angles too. There's a lot of support. There's more and more support every day uh, on these conference calls on talk shoe and if we have to go to another place we'll go to another uh you know venue uh we'll always have that pax international please go to the pax international website if you are a target individual and you need help there's a there's a phone number you can call for 24 hour a day support if you are in a bad situation um there's so much stuff guys so so please don't lose hope um you know please go to um you know to some of these conference calls and um you know, if it, you know, please make videos. If if you're up to it and you want to speak out, there's so many targeted individuals in the world, uh, much less our country. If you want to speak out about it, please, you know, speak out on YouTube, write about it on a blog. Um, you know, uh, there's there's um, Twitter and Facebook and um, just a lot of social media out there. Um, you know, please talk about your situation because um, it will make the world more aware. Um, we've got to just keep going. You know, I'm sorry I was very, very discombobulated for these videos, but I wanted to put another video out just letting y'all know how I'm doing. Um, you know, they've got the weapons uh, going at a dangerous, at a dangerous level. Um, but, you know, I'll make it through it. I, the the thing that I worry about is just the, uh, you know, our bodies are kind of fragile, and it's not that I'm not tough or I'm not going to keep going. I just Sometimes I'm not certain if, um, you know, while I sleep, you know, so I just, I just want to, want to say everything that I want to say and do everything that I want to do, um, you know, just in case, um, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be morbid guys, I'm just, uh, you know, our bodies can, they can do stuff, um, you know, um. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, not trying to be more I don't think that's going to happen just in case. I just want to start saying what I want to say and, and make a lot of videos and really, really say what I believe about this and really push it, push it on through uh, to get more people aware because we, we can't live like this, guys. We can't live with people being murdered and tortured and people turning the, the other, you know, turning around and, and just not looking at it or ignoring them or families actually, you know, um, not talking to their children about this if it's going on with them or parents if it's happening to them not talking to their, their children not talking to them we can't live like this so uh, let's push guys let's keep pushing um, I love y'all so much I do I think of y'all as my brothers and sisters um, and more videos to come you know I'm gonna try and try and make some you know I'm gonna try and look at information that is um, groundbreaking to me and really look at this from a perspective where I really look at the things that I'm like, wow, you know, I'd like to show my parents those things, and I think they would believe me, um, and start making videos on those, where you can go and get some clear-cut, defined proof um, that this is happening, and it's happening like we're saying, um, you know, to non-TIs, and to TIs, it'll give you, um, you know, resources where you can be like, well, that's something that's, you know, that's, that's a really good proof for this. Um, so I'm going to be really trying to do that and look at this from a, a certain perspective, guys. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, stay strong. Trust in God. He is behind us still. He is behind, 
he's behind us. I don't want to say still. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.